watching him play. I played basketball because of it. Bryant, along with his 13-year-old daughter and seven others, died in the helicopter crash. The basketball star was 41 years old. Good evening, I'm Melanie Michael. And I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us on this Sunday night. The sports world lost a legend today. Kobe Bryant, the former Los Angeles Lakers star, was one of nine people who died in a helicopter crash in California. And his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, also lost her life in that crash. Our NBC affiliate in Los Angeles is reporting a, that John Al... Alta Belli, a baseball coach from Orange Coast College, and his wife Carrie, as well as his daughter Alyssa, died in the crash as well. We still don't have the names of the other four people who died in that crash. Meanwhile, tonight, people across the nation and around the world are in mourning. It was about 10 a.m. local time when witnesses saw a helicopter that appeared to be in trouble. I see it was very low and struggling the engine. You can, can see, I mean, tail was not really running. Later, the news was confirmed. A basketball legend was on board. There were no survivors. We have a manifest that indicates that there was nine people on board the aircraft. The pilot plus eight individuals. Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter were on board. They were traveling to a basketball game at Bryant's Mamba Sports Academy. This will only devastate uh, all the basketball community and all the people who love sports because Kobe Bryant truly was one of the great sportsmen of our generation. Fans began to gather near the scene of the crash. Just uh, disbelief. I mean, it's Kobe. It's invincible. I'm just numb right now. I can't uh, find words right now. Kobe Bryant was an 18-time NBA All-Star and won five NBA titles during 20 seasons with the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant was 41 years old. Please join us in a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Mamba. NBA players and fans honored Kobe Bryant today in Denver. People paused for a moment of silence before the Houston Rockets Denver Nuggets game. Many of the players looked down and simply shook their heads in disbelief. And it certainly is stunning news today. You know, Kobe could be inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame that takes place in Springfield, Massachusetts later this year. He is among several high profile candidates, including Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, and Chris Bosch. The induction ceremony takes place in August. At the Staples Center, that's the home of the Los Angeles Lakers, fans gathered to honor the basketball star. The crowd went back and forth chanting MVP and Kobe. A large screen projected a black and white photo of Kobe with the words, in loving memory. I seen him in October. I waited 14 hours for him. And he took his time to talk to me, get to know me. But Kobe, he said he broke a lot of records. He inspired a lot of people to play basketball, be great athletes. So it's still on the real today. A lot of people found it very difficult to get to the Staples Center today because of the Grammy Awards that's also going on in L.A. this evening. However, police were able to open up the streets there to allow for additional traffic. The Lakers returned to Los Angeles today after playing in Philadelphia on Saturday. This is aerial video of the team's arrival at LAX, and it shows players hugging on the tarmac. You can see LeBron James right there in the white hoodie and dark sweatpants, hugging people and wiping away tears. Bryant's last tweet was about LeBron James congratulating him on the all-time scoring list. Kobe Bryant retired from the NBA in 2016. He played for 20 seasons. He was an icon. He won five championships with the Lakers, and he was also an NBA All-Star for 18 years. It is I, Stan Lucas, joining us now in studio, and this is really news that's hit a lot of people hard. It is, because he, he's so close to his playing career. He's only a Hall of Fame eligible now, so a lot of people who are even young folks, they all remember Kobe yeah. Bryant playing. This isn't an older person from a, a previous generation. He was the, years ago. the face of the NBA for years. And we always envision athletes and teams as not liking one another. Well, the NBA, it's a little different. There is so much respect between players that when tragedy hits, it strikes everyone. And that's what we saw a minute ago. We just showed the moment of silence in Denver. And there were eight games in the league tonight. All eight honored Kobe Bryant. And if you think about it, most of the players in the league were growing up during Bryant's heyday. So this was one of their heroes. Now, the head coach of the Clippers, Doc Rivers, coached against Bryant in two NBA finals and says he enjoyed getting to know Kobe better after his playing career. The news is just so devastating for, for Vanessa and, and, his, and his family. And um, there's just so many people he touched, you know. Um, and, you know, it's, it's looking at my young players and, and seeing how emotional uh, they are. Uh, they didn't even know him, you know, and uh, it just tells you how far his reach was. 
And the other piece of video we just saw earlier was LeBron James on the tarmac there on the Lakers flight home. He was so honored to pass Kobe last night on the all-time scoring list. I can only imagine how much he was looking forward to seeing Kobe and showing his gratitude. The two are very close. They yeah. go back to when he, LeBron was a teenager, and LeBron is late in his own career. So uh, the two were going hand in hand in L.A. and, and all mm -hmm. the parallels and. Uh, this is horrible for, Dan, for sports. Wife, and, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Having to lose a daughter and a husband at the yeah. same time. It's absolutely. I was looking at Dwayne Wade earlier today in tears Very emotional. talking about this. Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Of course, we know that uh, Brian grew up in Philadelphia. Memorial is growing outside the gymnasium where Kobe played high school basketball. The Lower Marion School District spokesperson there says that the district is deeply saddened to learn of the passing of their most illustrious alum. Brian played at the high school from 1992 to 1996 of course, before joining the NBA. I know my own children have been traveling in foreign countries wearing their Lower Marion High School t-shirts or jackets, and people all over the world have walked up to them and said, Lower Marion, Kobe Bryant. I mean, he is how we are identified around the world. So this is a difficult time for our community. And of course, I know the community of the world really will be honoring him in the coming days. People around the world are reacting to Kobe's death. My father, Rich Shoebrooks, is a former NBA scout who worked side by side with Kobe at basketball camps all over the world. This is, of course, uh, some images from those camps. He tells me Kobe had a way with kids. He wanted to help young players at camps in China and Europe, and the children adored him. As when they went in the gym, their eyes lit up when he walked in. Kobe was a young boy. He, he learned Italian, and he was very fluent in Italian. So. Um, you know, he, he, if there's Italian kids in the audience, he'd speak to them in Italian. Uh, he was more of a Renaissance guy, but the guy was so, he was so focused on wanting to help young kids and so focused on becoming a better player uh, that it showed up. Like I say, everything he did, he would put 100% into it, regardless of what he was doing. And my dad said that when they were on the court with those children, mm -hmm. no one else existed except those kids. He gave them his full attention. Yeah, it's that's good amazing stuff. stuff yeah. uh, his impact went far beyond professional basketball. You know, the